We will now examine the problem of finding the eigenvalue and eigenvector of a matrix. So, if you are given matrix A, and this matrix is from example 2, and the matrix is 1, 5 for the first column, and 6, 2 for the second column. It's the 2 by 2 matrix. How to find the eigenvalues and eigenvector A? First, it gives us a hint. It says that lambda 1, the first eigenvalue, is 7. Show that this is a real eigenvalue by doing this. Ax equals to lambda 1 times x. Lambda 1 is 7x. Show that this is true. And when this is true, then find x. Now the trick is this. Once we have this equation, we move the right-hand side to the left-hand side minus 7x equals to 0. Of course, you could have done it the other way around by moving the left-hand side to the right-hand side. It means 0 equals to 7x minus ax. So both are actually the same equation. doesn't matter. So in our example, we are going to do it this way. ax minus 7x is equal to the 0 vector. We bring the x up, so we have a minus 7 times the identity matrix x equals to the 0 vector. So convince yourself that this is true. The identity vector is a 2 by 2 matrix. So I'll do it for you, which is a minus 7 times 1, 0, 0, 1 multiplied by x, the vector equals to 0. Now, if you open it up, it will be ax minus 7007 times the vector x equals to 0. And isn't this ax minus 7x equals to 0 as before, which is here. Now, if you are convinced, so now we will erase and we will continue with this uh, proof and exercise. So now we are at this point a minus 7i bracket times the vector x equals to the 0 vector. Now remember that x we are trying to find the eigenvector. An eigenvector cannot be the 0 vector. That's the definition. Otherwise, simply we plug in 0, 0 here and anything, a matrix multiplied by a 0 vector will give you 0 vector on the right hand side, of course. So, since the, by definition, the eigenvector cannot be the 0 vector, we must find a non-zero vector x such that this equation is true. Now, this equation is called a homogeneous equation because the right hand side is the right hand side of this equation is the zero vector so we say is to solve this homogeneous equation let's work on this matrix a minus 7i so we have a minus 7i here we have a here we have 7i here 7i is nothing but the constant 7 multiplied by the identity matrix of 2 by 2 in this example and therefore we have this matrix here we work out the numbers and the numbers is very interesting it's minus 6 5 for the first column 6 minus 5 for the second column you realize that the second column is negative 1 multiplied by the first column implying that this matrix is singular or it has dependent column and because it has dependent column, therefore we can find a non-zero x to combine this column such that the output is zero. Okay, so so this is the, the discussion here. This matrix A minus 7i is obviously linearly de dependent. It has linearly dependent column. And therefore, it has non-trivial solution, meaning non-zero x such that 
a of minus 7i times x equals to the zero vector. So this proves that 7 is an eigenvalue of a. So we can stop here now for the first part, show that 7 is an eigenvalue of matrix a. Now to find the second part, what do we do? Well, you can do row reduction because we are now trying to solve for x. So this is what you have done before in the past lectures. We are now trying to find a solution for this equation. And because we have dependent columns, therefore we have dependent rows and therefore you only have one pivot and one free variable. This is the free variable and this is the pivot in the square. And therefore now you can find a general solution. You can write the equation as 1x1 minus 1x2 equals to the 0 and therefore implying x1 equals to x2. Since x2 is the free variable, we fix x1 and we have now the solution of the eigenvector x. So if we can put any value of x2 here, now we'll get an eigenvector. Okay, so that's it. Maybe to convince yourself, let's try a concrete example. 1, 5, 6, 2, multiply by 1, 1, and we'll get 7, 7. And then we can, we show that if the vector is 1, 1, we have 7, uh, uh, this vector scaled by 7 times. What about? 1, 5, 6, 2, multiply by 2, 2. 2, 2 is also an eigenvector. And therefore, what we have, in fact, if you do not you want to calculate all, you, you can immediately think that it is multiplying 7, multiplied by 2, by 2, which is 14, 14. Okay? So, uh, you realize that eigenvector lies on the line. Okay, any vectors along that line is an eigenvector of E.